freely with everything that I have. And you know, when you hear this sound, whenever we're going live, you know that I'm live and in living colors. I don't know how many colors you're going to see. You're going to see the background is going to have a lot of colors. Not, you know, I was looking at, um, my mom would look at me this morning. I said, she loved black, yes, man. <laughs> I remember once, um, once, um, a uh, church sister came to me while well, here in Canada. She came to me and she said, she came to me. Um, I remember I was on the praise team and she came over to me and she said, how you like wear black so? You know, stop wearing the black. And you know, I don't, it's not that it's, I, I don't see it as a mournful color. My mom does not like black. Oh my goodness. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think she would, I don't think she owns anything black other than maybe shoes. But she doesn't like black any at all to the point where when we were, um, you know, you're planning a funeral and you say, all right, my mom made sure to put in her piece, no black, you know, so. <laughs> but if it's left up to me, it would be black, you know. I think black is nice. Black is black is black black goes with everything anything you know how are you guys doing we are now live and in living colors on facebook and on youtube so i say good morning good afternoon good evening good night to all our listeners to all our viewers from across the nations of the world all the nations of the world we are here we are here we are here Jump on if you want to see. I wouldn't even say what I look like because I know you guys know what I look like already. <laughs> All right. Good morning to you, Sister Stephanie. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sister Stephanie is always one of the first ones to jump on. She's on YouTube. So good morning to you. So good to have you jumping on to the morning flow. And just in case we have any first time listeners or any first time viewers here this morning, welcome to the morning flow. Welcome to the morning flow. I am your host, Odette Thompson. You love the rap? Yes, I've been told. Yes, thank you, Sister Stephanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She said she loved the head rap. She said she loved the head rap. I remember the first time I went to church with that. You know what? To be honest with you, I think I've had the rap going since September when my dad died. It's a long story there, so. All right, so um, I remember one Sunday I had I had gone to church and um, so we don't wear hats, right? So um, had the, the the rap on and somebody sent me a private message and said, Pastor Odette, um, what's going on? What's going on with the head wrap? Um, are you are you you're racing? And I'm like, and I, <laughs> like, I'd be cracking up in the service, you know, because for some strange reason, the message was sent right in the service, right? That people tend to do that during the service. And, you know, sometimes I look down on my phone or I look down on the device and I'm, and I'm like, wait until service over, no man. You're going to have me cracking up in front of the people. I'm going to be laughing like crazy because I can't hold my face, you know. But um, no, I'm not racing, right? Um, it's just, it, it, you know, it has, it, it, it has brought comfort since um, the death. And um, not, it, 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 I think maybe I'm using it um, um, a, a symbol of me grieving, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but um, I'm liking it too, Sister Stephanie. I'm liking it too. I think, I think it suits me, don't it? I mean, look at, look, yeah, I think it suits me, don't it? Yeah, it suits me, don't it? <laughs> Yes. Uh, all right, guys. I want to welcome. Yes, I think so too. My mother will not agree with you. That is always beautiful. Um, whether we believe it or not. I, yeah, I agree with you 100%. My mom will not agree with you because, nope, she just don't like it. She just don't like it. But again, good morning and good afternoon to all our listeners from across the nations of the world. It is just so wonderful being with you here this morning. My HGG family, 
I see you on the radio side of things. And for those of you who are on Facebook and on YouTube, go and tell your auntie, uncle, cousin, sister, friend that we are live and we have the segment Balancing on Purpose. I know I haven't had it in a, on a, um, in a while, but we are back and we have a wonderful guest this morning. We have a guest from right here in Canada, right here in Alberta. So we have our guest coming on this morning. For those of you who may have seen the flyer, our guest this morning is Erica Burnett. And if you've been paying attention, she was our guest on Monday. I had her on and um, I had her on the segment Higher Hits. And we talked about the book that she wrote recently. And you know, when something nice, you just have to do it twice. <laughs> yeah. So we, she is back with us here on HGG Radio. And we're going to be talking about balance. And you know how it is when we have balancing on purpose. We talk about balance. What is balance and how we do it. How we do it. You know, the, the scripture that I have that goes with the segment balancing on purpose is 3 John 1 and verse 2. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers so we're not one-sided you have to remember that man is tripart so you know some persons are super spiritual and then the other side laps but then you have some people are super fleshly and then the spirit man dead we're talking about balance here this morning and so we're going to be talking to Erica this morning. We're going to be talking about balancing on purpose. All right. So I'm going to bring her on. Enough of me talking. I think I'm, I'm, I'm filling in for yesterday and today. Enough of me talking. But welcome, 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 everyone. Just go ahead and tell someone to jump onto HGG Radio this morning. We're closing out the week with this wonderful segment, talking to this beautiful lady, about balancing on purpose and there she is folks welcome erica thank, thank you so much pastor Odette. it is my pleasure being here this morning again it is indeed a privilege to have you on hgg radio one more time with us here live and in living colors and how are you doing today? I am doing great. It's a beautiful day. What's the weather like down there in Calgary? You know, I'm, to, I, I'm, again. Putting, you, I'm putting you in Calgary. <laughs> so it's it is uh, around about uh, ten degrees this morning. A little bit colder than uh, when we spoke on Monday, but yesterday was absolutely beautiful. It felt like summer. We were twenty one degrees. Oh, <gasps> what? It, uh, what? Oh Lord. And then that would be one of the cases that my, my girls would use to tell me why I should move from Edmonton. But you know, you know, you know, it's all right. You know, <laughs> it won't last forever and I will dress appropriately. But it's so good to have you with us this morning. Uh good morning, Jennifer. How are you doing? I've seen Jennifer jumping on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have the segment Balancing on Purpose this morning. And we have our guest, Erica Burnett, coming out of uh, Alberta, Canada this morning. She's going to be talking to us. She's going to be talking to us this morning about balancing and how she does it. You know, when we have someone on, they're always multifaceted. And so, you know, we want to know how they do it with all of the hats that they wear. How do you do it? And so, you know, if we jump into the dictionary, the dictionary definition of the word balancing, it says it's to be in a position where you will stand without falling on either side. That's what balancing means. It says to be in a position where you stand without falling to either side. And that's what balancing means. You're not leaning to the left, to the right. You're not, you're, you're in total alignment. Alignment. So when we look at purpose, purpose in of itself, it's the reason for which 
something is done or created, right? Purpose is the reason for which something is done or created. And so, you know, we're talking about balancing on purpose this morning. So again, our guest is out of Canada and we're talking to Erica Burnett this morning. And um, it's just so good to have you on. And I know that you are multifaceted. You and I have had uh, a few conversations and, you know, even in the conversations that we've had, we recognize that it takes almost more than 24 hours to do what you do. I know you alluded to the fact that, you know, when you were writing your book, that you, you stayed up in the nights when everybody else was sleeping. And a lot of persons don't know that when you are multifaceted, you know, you make the most of the 24 hours, you know. And so that is how you get to accomplish all of the things that you have accomplished. So we're going to go right into the meat of it this morning, Miss Erica. We're going to go right into the meat of it. And, you know, she is a child of God. She's a child of God. And she is uh, representing the kingdom of God in everything that she does, in everything that she says. She makes sure that she is representing the kingdom of God. So, Erica, I'm just jumping right into the meat of it. What inspires you? Okay, the main thing that inspires me is a transformation of lives, to see lives transformed. And this can be through growth, to, uh, through seeing others achieving their goals, also overcoming obstacles. And basically just seeing others living their best lives. Okay. So she likes to see everybody wins. I love it. I love it. No competition. Yeah. No pull down. She wants to see everyone wins. I like that. I really do like that. You know, it's not very often that you find somebody that says, you know, I, I want to see everybody wins. You know, and so that speaks even to your character. All right, so um, I mentioned also um, that you are a child of God. And so, you know, representing the kingdom of God is very important. And most persons, when we talk about um, representing the kingdom of God, they tend to think about Sundays or they tend to think about Saturdays whenever they go into the physical house to worship, right? Um, for ministry where you are concerned, is ministry only on a Sunday? Absolutely not. Ministry is basically, I would say, how we live our lives daily, wherever we are, how we treat others, how we display the fruits of the Spirit, gentleness, self-control, and um, the joy that people see in us that they also, you know, can wonder why is she so joyful? Where does this joy comes from? And to the point that they will ask, you're so joyful. What makes you so joyful? And um, also just being kind in general and uh, showing goodness, uh, displaying self-control in conversations, even when they're not going the way you want to. So ministry is how we live daily. It doesn't have to be on a Sunday. It doesn't have to be on a pulpit. I like that part. I know I'd asked about the Sunday, but you know, I like how you interject it. It doesn't have to be on the pulpit because, you know, a lot of persons don't understand that some persons will not go into a church to hear a message preached, but they will look at your life and what you exemplify. So folks, you're hearing it right here on HGG Radio. We're talking to Erica Burnett this morning, and we're talking about balancing on purpose. You know, ministry in of itself, it's not about, you know, what a lot of people think, the fanfare, you get up there and you hold the microphone to preach or to sing. No, 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 no. It is about your daily walk. What do you show people? Do you show them Jesus? You know, so I'm loving what you're saying. And I know that you're down there and you are exemplifying the kingdom of God in all that you do. All right. So right now, as we talk, um, 
I know that you are a financial coach. Uh, you're in the financial industry and um, you're also a mom and you're a wife. You're an author. Lord have mercy. Uh, you know, and, and I know that there may be other things that I'm leaving out. But you know what? Before I even jump to that, what advice would you give to someone that is trying to find their purpose? Okay, so I'm happy that earlier you defined what purpose uh, is. And so what I would say is first, people should discover their gifts. What are, what are the gifts that they have? And when they also discover what you're passionate about, what makes you thrive? And with that, use that to serve others, use that to, to uh, basically impact the lives of others. And we cannot go without prayer. And of course, we need to pray also to ask God, what is our purpose? Why did he create us? What does he want us to do? So go back to the manufacturer. That's right. Okay. All right, so in the event you have not yet found your purpose, in the event you're still looking, you're still wondering, you know, it's never too late to go back to the manufacturer and say, hey, you're the one that created me. Why did you create me? Why am I here? Everyone is uniquely made for a purpose for such a time as this, right? And for such a time as this, Erica has been brought here on HGG Radio. Good morning to you, Pastor Clive. How are you doing, sir? All the way down there in Otrius, Jamaica. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. All right, so in finding your purpose, you have to go to the manufacturer. You have to go back to the maker. He'll know why he made you, right? When somebody's making a cake, you know why you make the cake. Somebody's going to be hungry and you want to feed them with the cake. All right, so Erica, I alluded to the different hats that you wear. So in being a financial coach, you know, advising persons, families, individuals on how to get financially ahead in this time and in this season, um, I know that takes a lot out of you because you have to be very aware of what is happening in the um in 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 the country at the time if there are any changes um you know interest rate changes you know any 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 of that happening you have to be you have to keep abreast then you are a wife and you know you have that's ministry in of itself and a lot of people don't understand that a lot of people don't know that it is ministry in of itself right so if you don't if you're not ready for that ministry don't go and take it up yeah Stop looking at the dress. Stop thinking about the cake and the bridesmaids. Yeah, because it's a ministry. All right. So you have your financial coaching. You have your husband that you have to minister to. You have your daughter that you have to be a mom to. You are now an author. All right. So is there anything else that I left off? Uh, well, my husband and myself, we serve in our local church as um, small group leaders. All right. So small. <laughs> so they're going to be calling you for financial advice. <laughs> Your daughter is calling you mommy. Husband is calling you honey. Then if somebody's calling you about the book, you know, they want you to come and speak somewhere about your, 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 your odyssey to Canada. <laughs> and, and, and now we're looking at persons at church calling you all right so i want to know how do you balance everything that you have going on i know you have 24 hours just like the rest of us but how do you balance everything that you have going on okay so let me add only a daughter it's all i also have a son so i have two calling mommy <laughs> oh i met your daughter yes i also have a son so how do I balance all of this? So I always have to prioritize. And I think about um, what I would say, five, the five Fs that are important to me, which is my faith, family, finance, um, having fun, getting a little fitness in there, and freedom. 
And through categorizing those areas, then I strike a balance. I know I have to spend time with God and um, to also to do whatever ministry. And even though I am a small group leader, it is not always even doing ministry like that. Sometimes people just call me. They want me to pray with them. They want to talk to me. They want to be encouraged. And um, when I think about family, it's important also that I spend time with family. Um, my children are still young to groom them, you know, so spending time with them is important. And also I have to find that time also for my husband, for us to have our alone time. And uh, finance, I'm an entrepreneur, so I have to work. I have to manage my time. Uh, in the midst of everything, getting enough hours in to do, to make money, of course, and all work and no play makes Jack or Jill a dull boy or girl. So I'm a fun loving person. Fun must be a part of my life. And um, I get that in fitness. I'm still working on that a little bit, but I do get some fitness in. I enjoy taking my walks. I'm not a gym rat, but I enjoy taking my walks and um, freedom, just freedom of time to do what I want to do when I want to do it. All right. So we heard the word prioritize, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. You have 24 hours in the day and you need to not spend the entire day on the couch watching Netflix. Yeah. You have to know what is important, when it is important. But I love the five Fs that you uh, lifted. So in the event, your life is out of balance, folks. You know, these are some little nuggets that you can take away today from Erica. You said, faith, we have to put God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, yeah? And his righteousness, and then everything else is going to be added to you. So her faith, her faith is important. Is her faith is important. Then you have family. Then you have her finances. A lot of us do not consider finances to be important, but it is. Or is it going to cut off the light? Yeah. So then we look at um, fun. Balancing is it, it is a it is it is a delicate thing to to keep. And so if you don't balance well, you might end up burnt out. So you have to put that in and then the freedom part of it. So I'm sure that being a financial coach, this is where everything ties in to say, hey, you know, you're going to talk to somebody about having financial freedom. It's like, you know, you, you want to have fun. You want to make sure that your finances are lined up, that in the event, um, you know, you want to go and have an early retirement. You know, so this is where it comes in. So, guys, the five F's. Faith, family, finance, fun, and freedom. That is how she does it. That is how she does it. So I hope that you are taking notes today that in the event you are not sure as to how to balance it all, you prioritize and do it this way. All right. So Erica, what is your biggest accomplishment to date? Uh, I would say that would that is uh, leaving my nine to five job and uh, going into the financial industry as an entrepreneur. Now, why I say this is my biggest accomplishment, uh, it's for several reasons. One is that to work in the financial industry, uh, you need a license to do so. I left my nine to five without a license. And of course, that was a move of faith because of the vision that I saw in the business that I, that I do. And on the, basically my, in the first month I was promoted and within five months I was, uh, I was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I was uh, selected as one of the, top five in my category across uh, North America. And whilst doing that, I am leading a team of say around about 10 people, which I 
elevate lives one family at a time so i would say that is uh my biggest accomplishment so far okay 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 i love it you took a leap of faith you you, you turned um into abraham and you took a leap of faith you went into it without the license what Girl, you know how many persons would sit down and say, no, I need to have the license. I like that. I like that. You know, making, and see, this is where the five F's come in, folks. So you're here and she did it in faith. And so with your biggest accomplishment to date, you know, being able to leave your nine to five, now um, being a financial coach, leading a team, um, how um how do you tie that in? I know this wasn't one of the questions that I had sent to you. How do you tie that in with ministry? I just feel like asking you that. How do you tie that in with ministry? Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, ministry is not just within the pulpit, right? It's how we live daily. So of course, um people when when I meet with be it clients or sometimes even my team, sometimes the meeting doesn't go as planned because a part of what I do is rapport building. In rapport building, sometimes people express things that has to be dealt with before going into what we're really meeting about. And that sometimes means encouraging people, you know, be hopeful, look at the brighter things, look at the brighter side of life. Things will change, things will get better, that sort of thing. Encouraging and um, inspiring. Sometimes I even have to do a small prayer with them on the line just to ensure, because sometimes they ask for it, right? And that is how I incorporate what I do with uh, my faith, with ministry. Okay, wonderful. You do not separate the two. That is awesome. You know, some persons do separate the two and they're one person at work and then there's somebody else at, at, at church. There's, they're, they're one person with their church family and somebody else with their work family. And I like how you incorporate the two. But Erica, with your biggest accomplishment and with everything that you have going on, what do you wish you had known then that you know now to be more to have more self-belief to be more confident in myself i'm one of the biggest critics of myself and um, i'm still learning to go a little bit easy on myself to understand that even while i'm doing what i'm doing i'm still improving and I am still developing confidence and I'm still improving myself. I like that. Being gentle with yourself. You know, sometimes we can be or we bash ourselves so much mm -hmm. and we don't understand that we're all learning. We're all growing. Yeah. And we will be gentle with everybody else but ourselves. You know, so I like that you have come to that um, acknowledgement. And so going forward, I'm sure that you're going to love yourself more for it. Is that right, Erica? You know, like, okay, it is what it is. Just don't be too hard on yourself. And so folks, you, um, when you're going through life and things happen, you know, I know that oftentimes we are our biggest critique and you think about, you know, you look back at something, it's like, you look back at a conversation, you said to yourself, I should not have said that. I shouldn't say it that way. But I like how you interjected that part about being gentle with yourself. So, you know, if there's someone out there and you are, you're not recognizing how harsh you are with yourself, take it from Erica. She learned it and now she's moving forward, being very gentle with herself, recognizing that she's growing and she's learning. Yeah. And we're all growing and we're all learning. So be gentle with yourself, folks, while you're on this journey. Be gentle with yourself. All right. So, folks, we're talking to Erica Burnett this morning. This is Balancing on Purpose. We're talking about the many 
different hats that she wears. We want to know how she balances, how she's doing it. And, you know, she mentions that she is a financial coach. So, you know, we are open here at HGG Radio. We always here for the hookup, right? So, you know, you want some financial advice. You're here in Canada. I'm sure Erica can talk to you where whatever province you're in, she can talk to you. And I think also for the States too. So for those of you who are in the States, for those of you who are in Canada and you need some financial advice, yeah, we can talk, you can talk to this lady. So just send in the information, the, the question, like, you know what? I have a question. We can hook you up, man. We have a financial advisor here that will give you some wonderful financial advice as you go on life's journey because my people perish for lack of knowledge. A lot of the times we don't do because we don't know. So we have a financial coach here. So... In everything that you're doing, you're playing baseball, basketball, whatever it is, you get a coach, don't it? Yes. So for your finances, in the event that you don't know what to do, where to turn, we have one here. So always you can connect with us at 8GG Radio. We can always uh, get you connected with Erica. Erica, you talk about the husband, you talk about the coaching, you talk about church and the children and the book. Erica? Is there something that you're not good at? Yes. <laughs> I'm not good at sports. <laughs> you're not good at sports? No. <laughs> what sport are you not good at? Any sports at all. I just feel clumsy playing any sport. <laughs> no, man, that don't sound right. You're from Jamaica. That don't sound right. No. Jamaicans in the house. That don't sound right, don't it? Don't sound right at all. Not one? <laughs> No, when I was younger, but um, like if I should try to do anything now, I, I just feel so clumsy. Oh, Lordy. So so come lunchtime when you were, when let's say primary school, come lunchtime, you were not on the playing field? You weren't playing? Well, in those days, you know, a little dandy shandy and those little things, of course. But anything otherwise, a little netball that sort of thing. No, I, I'll play, but I just don't feel right. Okay. So she's going to be the cheerleader folks. Yes. You have a cheerleader in the house. So she's going to be on the side and she's going to be cheering us on. All right. For those of us who are athletic. All right. So I am loving it. All right. So I, I know where to position you on the field now. Mm -hmm. So she says she's not good at sports. So all right, we'll, we 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 we're not good to just put you in the stand. You're going to come and you're going to cheer us on. All right. So uh folks, we're talking to Erica Burnett, and she is an author that just wrote her book. Uh, we were talking to Erica on Monday, actually. I hope that you guys were um on when we had that conversation. The book that Erica wrote, it is called An Immigrant's Odyssey to Canada. All right. So Erica, just to touch on the book a little bit, I know we talked about it on Monday. So to touch on the book a little bit, um, it is about your experience uh, moving from Jamaica to Canada. You hear the word Odyssey people. So it's a journey. It's a trip. It's an adventure. So uh, the book outlines what she had gone through when she was um, uh, coming here to Canada. Yes, it is an adventure. I tell you, <laughs> listen to me, people. So um, in writing the book, in writing the book on Immigrants' Odyssey to Canada, um, do you find that um, you're more knowledgeable now and in a position outside of the book to give persons advice as to what to do when they are leaving their country to, say, Canada? Oh, yes, 100% I am. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 100%. All right. So folks, um, I indicated that she wrote the book because I want you guys to go and find the book, An Immigrant's Odyssey to Canada. Uh, we have our sister here who is multifaceted, many hats that she wears, and we're going to support her and we're going to go and find the book An Immigrants' Odyssey to Canada, because I know that quite a number of you who may not be here in Canada already, you may be thinking of migrating, eh? 
And, and this book outlines the things you do, the things you don't do, yeah? And so it will save you the pitfalls of what uh, many of us went through. So it's good when you have someone that has gone ahead. And that's how we have maps, eh? That's how we have maps uh, so they can tell you, all right, this fork is in the middle of the road and there's a, there's a river down there and all of these wonderful things. So I want you guys to go out and find the book. Erica, please remind us where we can get the book. Okay, for sure. So it is on Amazon. Also on my website, odysseytocanada.com. And it's also at Brian's Bookstore which is at 36 and a half to 38 Red Hills Road. All right. So folks, you heard the different locations, both um, physically and on the web, where you can go and get the book, An Immigrant's Odyssey to Canada. So we're going to go out. We're going to buy the book. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy the book, right? Because I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you guys about the book. We're going to talk about it again, eh? So I am um, encouraging everyone to go out and get the book. Jump on to her website and get the book. Erica, my final question. This is always my favorite question. What is your favorite food? Okay, so that would be curry chicken and rice. <laughs> this is a first. I think this is a first. It's GG family. Isn't this a first? We've never heard this before. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we've ever gotten uh, curry chicken and rice before. I mean, we've gotten ackee and saltfish. We've gotten um, one of our guests, I think, uh, Kevon in Texas. I think his was um, barbecue. He loves the grill. All right. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, you're the first curry chicken <laughs> people. All right. So you see, this is why I love this segment, Balancing on Purpose. We get persons who are multifaceted, not only with what they do, but we're talking about their taste buds. All right. So I do love, I, I love curry chicken too. And I, it's, it's kind of my go-to. I think it's so easy to do. <laughs> so easy to do. Like you want a quick, quick thing? Curry chicken. Yes, man. Curry chicken. All right. So you love the curry, curry chicken and rice with what you, you like. In Jamaica, we say pear. Mm -hmm. Here you have to eat avocado. So you, you get your pear with it too? Oh, yes. All right. 100%. <laughs> all right. All right. So, folks, we're talking to Erica Burnett. And we're having a wonderful conversation with her talking about balancing how she does what she do. And, you know, um, it is just wonderful to hear her talk. Oh, she balances family with her uh entrepreneurship with with ministry how she does it and we've gotten some nuggets and i hope that you guys you know were taking notes she talked about fun faith family freedom and finance the five f's that she is governed by so i want you guys to pay attention for those of you who are not yet walking in your purpose it's still not too late. She said, go back to the maker. Essential. Go back to the maker. He'll know why he made you, for what purpose he made you. So uh, we're going to be wrapping up. But I want to thank you, Erica, for coming on this morning. It is, an in, it is a pleasure just having you here with us one more time on HGG Read. I tell you folks that, you know, when it's nice, you have to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had her on Monday. We talked more about the book, but today we're just talking about everything else that she does. So I want you guys to go out and find the book, Support Erica. For those of you who are here in Canada or in the States and you want some financial advice, send us your information. Send in the question to HGG Radio. And we will be happy to connect you with Erica. And I'm sure she's able to guide you in the direction where you need to go, where your finances are concerned. All right. So we, I want to thank you for jumping on again, Erica, without hesitation. You, you know, you, you said yes, you know, didn't have to think twice. So without hesitation, you came back and, you know, you talked some more to us. And I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to give you about two minutes to just wrap up. 
with our listeners today? Okay, so I just want to encourage everyone, if you are not already walking in your purpose, if you don't know what your purpose is, I mentioned earlier how you can discover your purpose, walk in your purpose. There are so many lives that are waiting to be affected by you and only you. And if you don't walk in your purpose, those lives are not going to be affected. They're not going to be impacted. And then you don't want to die without doing what you were created to do. And whether it be small or big, just do what you need to do. Whatever. I like also to say that always look at growth have a growth mindset whatever you do whether you have to start creeping walking then until you can run just start something just do what you need to do don't wait so thank you so much for having me again pastor odette it was my pleasure being here Thank you again, Erica, for jumping on. I am seeing uh, Janice is jumping on and uh, Janice is saying blessings, Erica. Love what you said about ministry. It's not only on the pulpit. It's the life you live outside of church and the five F's. So, yes, somebody paid attention to the five F's that you gave. So and the five F's. And she says, good job. Keep it up. God bless you. Uh, Stephanie jumped on. Stephanie said, awesome discussion. And then we have Leighton jumped on and he said, yes, loving the conversation. And yes, um, uh, Andrea is asking, I'm going to give you this question. All right. Yeah, we have a question here. Andrea is asking, can you have a few purposes or just one? Put you in the hot seat. That's fine. We can have um, a few purposes because, of course, we can have more than one gifts. But what I find normally is that they will all tie in together. And, for example, if, say, you... I'll use this this example because um, this is true for me. If you like working with people, right, You'll wherever you can work with people, you're going to work with people in whatever capacity you're going to work with people because you're looking overall on just impacting those lives and yeah so that's what i believe you can have more than one purpose yeah okay all right awesome thank you so much again erica and there is your answer sister andrea sister andrea's jumping in from london england so there is your answer. Again, thank you so much, Erica, for jumping on. And guys, remember, we talked about balancing on purpose. Remember what balancing is. It says it is to be in a position where you stand without falling on either side. And purpose is the reason for which something is done or created. All right. So we're going to be walking in our purpose. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're balancing on purpose purpose yeah you're not going to lean too much to the right or too much to the left be be intentional with your walk right but thank you again erica for jumping on it has been a wonderful conversation and i look forward to what god is going to do with you in this time and in this season thank you thank you so much All right, guys. Thank you, Lord. You know, we just heard from Erica. And we know that. They wrote me off. This they one. I, would die. I know you haven't heard it in a while. To bury me. Just want to say to someone alive, that wherever you are, they never know purpose, cannot die. purpose cannot die. This one is Trey Taylor, and he says that purpose cannot, cannot die. Yeah, they thought I would die. They tried to bury me, bury me when I was alive. They never know purpose. 
gonna die. They thought I was hopeless, but I survived. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Purpose can die. Mistreated and wounded. I got frustrated. All right, so you know I'm going to be leaving Facebook and YouTube for now. And I want you to jump back over to HGG Radio, where we will continue with the morning flow. And I'm going to do something special today. You know, I wasn't on yesterday. And so I know that you guys on HGG Radio, you were waiting for your throwback Thursday where you sent in your song requests. So for the remaining portion of the morning flow, guess what I'm going to do today? tell you to send your song request in for today friday i know it's not normal i know that it's not a thursday but we we're gonna be ending the week this way right so i want you guys to jump back on hgg radio for those of you who are on facebook if you have not yet downloaded the hgg radio app go ahead and jump to your google play or your apple play and download the HGG radio app. We are a 24 hours gospel station and we are here sending out the praises to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. I'm going to be signing off from Facebook so you can continue on HGG radio with me. And I am going to be having, I'm going to be having the song request section this morning. Normally it is on a Thursday. But because I wasn't here yesterday, I don't want you guys to feel shortchanged. So jump on to HGG Radio. And you know the number. It is 825-343-4486. So that's 825-343-4486. You can send in your song request today, right? It is happening today. All right, so jump on to HGG Radio, where we are going to end our segments with you sending in your song requests. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? Miss Michelle, you're fast, man. Lord have mercy. She just typed the thing so quickly before I could even jump on to see it. Her song request is already in. Good morning to you, Brother Orin. How are you doing? How are you doing? Brother Robert down there in Florida, South Florida to be exact. How are you doing this morning? We know that purpose cannot die. Yeah, purpose cannot die. All right, Sister Stephanie, I'm going to be signing off. So good to see you. But God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. And do have a wonderful, wonderful weekend for those of you who are here on Facebook. Come on over to HGG Radio where we're going to continue to send up the praises. Looking forward to seeing you. Remember, purpose can't die. Purpose can't die.